Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome to the historic TCL Chinese Theater IMAX. Sid Grauman, time honored tradition of placing handprints in the wet cement began 95 years ago when silent film star Norma Talmadge accidentally stepped into the wet cement right here in this very courtyard. It has gone on to become the longest running awards tradition in Hollywood. Today, that tradition continues as we immortalize Illumination Animation's beloved characters, the Minions. This, beginning with Despicable Me in 2010 and through four movies, the Minions have entertained and made audiences of all ages roar with laughter in their seats at the exploits of Bob, Stuart, Kevin, Otto, and all of their fellow Minions. Audiences will once again be laughing at the Minions and their beloved boss, Gru, next week on July 1st, when the Minions, The Rise of Gru, opens in theaters around the country, including right here at the TCL Chinese Theater IMAX. To get the ceremony started, if you'll please give a big welcome to our special guest speaker, the star of The Minions, The Rise of Gru, Steve Carell. Yeah! Thank you, Levi. It is my honor and privilege to stand before you here at one of Hollywood's most revered and iconic sites. Today we take part in a wonderful tradition where we immortalize the best and brightest of the entertainment industry. Marilyn Monroe, Robert De Niro, Denzel Washington, and countless others all captured for posterity in the form of hand and footprints, the ultimate showbiz honor. This morning, we add one more to that esteemed list, someone that I have had the good fortune to work with on numerous occasions, and someone that I not only consider to be a friend, but a casual acquaintance. He's funny, endearing, kind, and sometimes exasperating. He is a devoted companion, he speaks in an unintelligible gibberish. He loves bedtime stories, bananas, and expelling gas. And he is yellow. But Alan Arkin is not here today. Of course, I am speaking about Bob. Bob's first words to me were unforgettable. He walked up, looked me square in the eye, and said, Pas de tout, pas de me, la carou, la piñata, parabota. And you know what? He was right. I can save money on my car insurance. It's been such a pleasure to be a part of the Despicable Me series. The writers, directors, animators, and producers have created a world full of silliness and fun and kindness and love. At their core, these stories are really about family, the ones that you were born with, as well as the ones that you find along the way. So today, we celebrate Bob a symbol of happiness and warmth and cheerful idiocy. Three things that I can certainly relate to and attributes that I believe we should all embrace every once in a while. And now I would like to hand over the proceedings to the founder and CEO of Illumination Entertainment, Chris Melodondri. I remember when I first met Chris, he walked up to me, shook my hand, and said, Potata la muka, ba mani la ru la ru and we have been friends ever since. There would be no despicable me without Chris. No minions, no Gru, no Bob. He has brought joy to millions, and he also happens to be a really, really good guy. Chris Maladandre. Thank you, Steve. I speak for the entire Despicable Illumination family when I tell you what a privilege and a joy it's been to have you as our creative partner. I know. <laughs> um, you know, without Gru, Otto would be woefully unemployed. And without you, we would not be standing here today. So thank you so much. Um, thank you to the TCL Chinese theater for this wonderful honor. Uh, a special thanks to all of our partners at Universal. Uh, I see 
Jeff to here today and Jimmy Horowitz, Peter Kramer, Michael Moses. I we we um, want to thank Donna Langley. Uh, I want to thank the international team, Julian and Veronica, um, and and everybody at Universal who are really just the very best partners we could ever imagine having. So thank you so much. Um, when Despicable Me directors Pierre Coffin, Chris Renault, and designer extraordinaire Eric Guillon first showed me the concept drawings uh, for Minions, we knew that we had characters that were irresistibly appealing, but never in our wildest imaginations could we envision these characters making such a lasting impact on popular culture. Um, to have these minions recognized alongside of giants of cinema is a dream come true for all of us. Honoring the minions today is honoring Chris, it's honoring Pierre and Eric, all of whom are locked away in Paris working on their next projects. Uh, and it's also honoring the hundreds of incredibly talented people who work for us and contribute their talents to bring these characters to life. We are fortunate to have a few members of the team here today, including writer Ken Dario of Despicable Me, uh, executive producer Brett Hoffman, um, and uh, Rise of Gru writer Matt Fogel. Illumination, <clears throat> Illumination is an extraordinary collective of over a thousand gifted individuals. And whether it's the secret life of pets, the cast of Sing, the animated Grinch or Lorax, or Gru and the Minions, bringing joy to audiences through the creation of enduring characters is our purpose. And every day I'm reminded of how fortunate I am to be surrounded by such extraordinary talent. And now it's time to bring out the stars of the hour, Minions Kevin, Stuart, Bob, and Otto are all here today. But as Steve mentioned, only one could have his hands and feet imprinted in cement here for all eternity. So they had to choose. And the selection process got a little bit chaotic. And ultimately, Bob was the last man standing as a, as a chaotic brawl broke out around him, and he cheered them on with great enthusiasm. So today we welcome Bob, who is the most devoted, devoted minion to Gru, as our choice to be recognized for all time. So on behalf of myself and Steve, our entire team at, Uni at Universal and Illumination, thank you again for this incredible honor. <laughs>